Hold the bottle firmly at the base of the neck. Use the knife of your wine key to cut the foil. I feel for the base of the cage to help me trace a neat line and make a clean cut. Repeat this cut to the back side of the bottle. Cut a slit up the side of the foil and peel away the foil. Put the foil and your wine key into your pocket. Do not remove the cage. With five to six atmospheres of pressure in this bottle, the cage is the only safety guard against an explosive cork. Prepare your serviette. I hold the bottle in the palm of my hand and slide my middle finger under the crease of the fabric to neatly unfold the serviette. Drape the serviette over the top of the cage and place your thumb over the serviette covered cage. Find the tab. Hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle so the tab is facing upwards to you and make sure the bottle is not pointing at anyone's head. Untwist the tab, takes about six turns, and loosen the cage. Keep your thumb securely placed and wrap your fingers around the cage. Twist the bottle, not the cork, to slowly guide the cork out of the bottle. Push back against any strong pressure and take your time. Right before the cork is about to come out, guide the cork slightly to the side to release any gas so that the bottle opens silently. We want to avoid a loud pop. Remove the cork from the cage and put the cage into your pocket and present just the cork. Wipe the top of the bottle with your serviette and you are ready to pour this delicious wine 